Okay, what's up guys? Someone has to cover this and tell people. Uh, it's too important. So this pattern has been happening over and over and over and over again in the market. And it's like not stopping. So like with TCAT, we've got this big green day followed by this subsequent red day. And then this big blow off next green day. As soon as we had a crazy move on the third day from like the 6th to the 25s, everyone's been kind of looking, <clears throat> looking for this pattern to repeat. And it didn't happen perfectly on AMC, but it kind of, we had the green day, the red day, and then consolidated, then a big blow off top day. Uh, BTX, it was definitely a lot cleaner. BTX was a perfect example replica of TCAS, where we got the push, the middle of the range red day, followed by the blow off big green day, and then it was off to the races. And then everyone, I've seen another one recently, but I can't remember what it was, and but with AHPI today, it's just the same thing happening. I mean, eventually the pattern might not fully work, but there's going to be some volatility where it at least tries. And on a volatile stock like HPI, it's, it's, it's literally exactly the same as uh, TCAT was before it exploded. The first stock that started the pattern, it's exactly the same as BTX that followed TCAT. So for HPI, although there was no volume, it was always the case where you're gonna you're gonna be looking for this pattern to manifest. So if we just go on the, I mean, on the live stream, I mean, we can uh, we can first look. I can tell you on HPI, like it was nothing. There was no volume or anything on this. There was no sign that this was gonna happen. You've just got to do your own due diligence and know. So with HPI, we've got literally, I took a small long uh, at 635 just in case. And like, look, this is like real time action. I think I've even sped it up. Like nothing, nothing's happening. Like it's not even moving. So we just skip ahead to, let's say, okay, so we're right on the open now. So let's just watch from the open and see what happens. So we've got H, like, you, you'd think I was a lunatic buying in the city. Like, I went long in the city, like, tiny, tiny, like, 100 shares. I think I made about $400, $400 on this or something recently. So with HPI, you get the, the wash, the volume starting to come in. I've sped it up, like, a little bit, but not a lot. And, and I'm just sitting here, like, waiting for it to run. Like, if it doesn't run, I don't really lose. Because I don't take, well, I mean, I'll lose 100 shares, I'll lose like $40. And, and you'll see, I actually sell them at the worst possible time. Um, I'm just waiting for this to turn. And I'm like, it, it really should happen because it's a quiet day. Everyone's watching for the next time this pattern repeats. There's enough longs in this and there's certainly enough shorts who've been ho holding a swing short who can get squeezed. I thought with the fact that there's a ton of like bigger term shorts who can get squeezed. And I know there's enough longs who will try and squeeze it. I was quite confident it should work. Now, that's just selling the, the 100 shares that I've got because I'm like, all right, fuck, maybe it won't work. Like, if I, what am I going to hold? I'm not going to hold the... When, when, if I don't cut the long then, when do I cut? I may never cut. And this is where it starts to turn. And I'm thinking, okay, come on, like, show some volume. We need volume above 50,000, so it's like the most volume on the day. This is starting to look like a bit of a trend change. Not quite yet. This could just be a green candle, but keep watching. Now, when it skips up, we're looking like we're testing red green. I take the long with something, and I'm long. I'll just pause it there just to make it clear. I'm long at 610. My risk is 580. This pattern is shown to be explosive in the past. I'm only risking 20 cents. Like it's like 4%, right? If it is 4%, 3 4%, I'm risking 4% on a pattern that has proven to work time after time after time. And when it does work, it's extremely volatile. You can get like upwards of 30% on this. So I'm risking 3% for 30%. Um, I, I took a bit more size than I normally do on longs because um, I like the pattern and I didn't want to miss it. But you can see I get a bit cagey when it doesn't drive straight through uh, red green there. I take just like a third off. I can't remember how many shares. I took maybe like six, seven hundred shares and then I took 200 off. And then I'm watching it being like, all right, now's the time you either do it or you don't. Um, I mean, it could put a higher low in and pull down and then rip later. But uh, the, the ideal scenario is that it rips now. Um, 
if the pattern's going to work, I kind of want it to work right away. Uh, the other examples I've seen have worked out the open. And here we go. So I'm, I'm long from 610. And immediately there, 660. That's pretty much 10% locked in 670. I've locked in 10% in two minutes, one minute. And we're straight into a halt. Uh, we've just parabolic ripped. Shorts have been squeezed. Uh, the longs work, the patterns worked again. Obviously, these hundreds of th hundred thousand shares worth of people <laughs> are all are all people like me. I think pretty sure Papa John was in this because I was chatting to him in the morning before. I was like, Papa, this is the pattern again. He's like, Yeah, it's, I'm watching it. So Papa was in it, no doubt Bryce too. He was in it as well. I think I possibly saw his his chart on that. And uh, we'll just skip back. So we're immediately halted here. Again, I'm long from the 610s. Let's see what happens next. Let's see where we'll open at the halt. We'll open at 710. I've got like my finger on sell just to take another piece off. So I've took like two thirds off. But again, we must be, I'm up about 12, 13, 14% here. Looking good. Uh, this could squeeze eights, nines, tens. I get a bit cagey there. Take another, just a small piece off. But I'm probably still holding about half size. I was very, very, uh, had conviction on this. I'm I'm half out because I, I expect it can go to the eights, nines, tens, elevens. The uh, T cut and BTX did so. Why wouldn't this? And then again, I get a bit trigger happy because I'm like, all right, I'm in from six ten. That's seven eighty. That's a pretty big gain for four minutes, right? Five minutes minus the halt. And then it's this. This I need to hold. Uh, I start selling because it's that. That's a big wick. It's kind of a rejection wick. It's it's. Often when you see big wicks like that, it could be signs of the end. But I give it a bit more time. I might be all out there. I think I'm all out there. I'm all out there and I'm thinking, shall I get back in? And we've got this kind of upward trend. It just falls, like, I can't really show you. I can't draw it, but there's like an upward trend here. So if it falls through the 680s, the, f the front side trend is broke. It, it needs to go right now or it's done, in my opinion. And as we see, we're falling through that front side trend. And then, yeah, then we get the kind of the sell off and then it's, it's, it's toast, it's history. So overall, like a very solid trade, risking, risk 20 cents made a dollar from six, ultimately 610 to seven seventy. I didn't put that in that stocks to trade. But, uh, I mean, look, it's risking 20 cents to me. It's like 7 to 1 risk reward from the bottom to the top. It's a super solid trade.